Thea Daniels with Raw Blogcast, where I talk with real people who are authentic and willing to share their passion, and they are yes, super indeed. cool. Yes. We are at Gator by the Bay. Mm -hmm. This is Latasha. She Hi. was up playing with Cedric and the... Uh, Cedric Watson and the Bijou Creole. Mm -hmm. She said that so well. <laughs> So, tell us about Gator by the Bay. Have you been here before? Never, never in my life. Gator by the Bay is a very spur first experience for me. Uh, we literally came here right after we got off the plane from Louisiana, and it has been a blessed, uh, beautiful, vivacious event, and I, I'm happy we're here. I'm very happy we're here. It's awesome. I'm happy you're yeah. here. It's my first time being here, too, and yeah. wow. It's a lot going on, but the people are happy, the food is flowing, and I mean, it's just beautiful atmosphere, and it's by the water, so why not? You're a great dancer, too. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, bands coming from everywhere. <laughs> so you were down in Louisiana. Yes, down in Louisiana, and just, you know, got invited to this festival to do this and you know there's not many female uh, for twa also known as the rub board or the washboard there's not many of us so for us to come out here and to make a name for ourselves it's very very important and to just let that passion you know let it flow but we're making a statement here you know and it's uh yes men have been a very big part of zadico but the woman we, we've been here as well so uh it's time to uh put a little cayenne on that and, and get it done you know Woo! okay who inspired you why oh, the washboard wow. i mean clifton chenier uh rosie Ledette, queen ida, queen um, ida and and goodly you know those those people bojak you know buzu shavi you know those artists right there inspired me to number one keep going i remember i had um talked to <laughs> i remember i had talked to he had just passed away uh, shortly after I had a conversation with him and um, just just one of these artists you know his his name's kind of coming to mind but It'll he gave me 2 a.m. in the morning oh it yeah. will <laughs> and he gave me some solid good sound advice and it was be consistent move forward no matter what anyone says no matter what anyone tries to deter you from you know your purpose and move forward your your purpose and your blessing was never a conference call for the world that was for you to move forward and be consistent within your process no matter what it looks like you don't you have no idea how close you are to achieving your goals you know oh those are you such know, good yeah. words to live it's true. by it's true how long have you been doing this oh wow uh i've been uh i've been playing for twa washboard rub board uh for about only nine oh. years so was music nine your years. jam beforehand or music well, I'll tell you something. I, I grew up, you know, uh, paying attention to acting and ballet and salsa, bachata, merengue. I was a very, PBS was a very good best friend of mine. I love, I grew up on PBS. So when I figured out I had these abilities and, and my, my mom and, you know, just that support, I feel like what I couldn't live out when I was a child, I'm doing that right now in my adult life. And the whole point is consistency is believing in yourself. And you know, if you have to change your group of people you're around, change your group of people. But no matter what, you have to be your biggest cheerleader. You've got to be. Even on the days you don't want to get up and do it, you have to be consistent. Motivate yourself, you know? I, I tell people the first place, what's the first place you go to when you wake up? You go to the bathroom and you're looking yourself in the mirror. What are you telling yourself, you know? Be consistent with that. Speak to, speak to your star player, which is you. You know, what do you want to do with your life? Anyone can stab any type of opinion about your life, but what you think about self is way more important than anyone's opinion. Okay, let us in. What do you tell yourself? You are unique. I tell myself that I'm unique. I'm special and I have a purpose in this world and and it is my time to shine, to not be fearful and to move forward. And consistency. Consistency. Oh my God, the confidence coming off of her while she's saying that. It, it took it took some time, but uh, the development, you know, middle of five, you know, uh, it, it's just a lot that goes into that. But the beautiful part is, uh, you know, when you arrive to that mindset, uh, when you set yourself free from, you know, self-limiting beliefs, it's, uh, it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful oh, yes. thing, you yes, know? Yes, it is. <laughs> and you were beautiful and amazing up there. Thank you. I appreciate that. You were, you shine. Holding my own with a bunch of guys. Yeah. Oh, you know. yeah. Right hey. up there in the front. <laughs> Got to. Okay. Fun story. First time on stage. Oh, Something wow. that stands out to you about doing I, what you're shaking, loving. Shaking, shaking like a leaf. 
shaking like a leaf on, on a tree, you know. Uh, I was scared, I could barely play, couldn't make eye contact with people. It was just a process for me and uh, it was like a three hour gig, but you know, I got off and uh, you know, I had uh, Shelton Sonia, he gave me my very first uh, Zydeco gig in uh, New Orleans on Bourbon Street and I will never forget it. He said I was nervous, but I learned and when I learned, I go back and I look at, you know, old videos or you know I go around and I support other artists as well you know I, I pay attention to that and I try and of course with my own individuality I see uniqueness and I see the beauty and the light within everyone so you know I see what they're doing and we are all somewhat doing the same thing but put your own spin individual yeah. spin on it you know and and be uniquely you you know don't be afraid to stand out in the crowd you're you're, you're not meant to be like everyone else isn't that the truth? Okay, how can we find you and follow you and hear um, this washboard? You clean? can uh, find me on Facebook. Look up Dat Zydeco Girl, D A T Z Y D E C O G U R L. Uh, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, uh, and YouTube. So those where you can find me. Okay. Um, and reach out. Reach out. I'm here to talk. You sound like you're in such service. I, and I am. You're reaping the service. And the people around it's, you. It's, it's a blessing and uh you know i i understand and i know my purpose in, in this world and on this you know it, it takes people time but uh we're all a part of of this 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 greater plan you know um this thing called life. and we yep. have to uh take the step stop being fearful get out of your head you know um if you can't think or breathe go by the water whatever you got to do but don't give up on yourself can't. Finer words have not been said. Did you remember that the guy that that told you that? Hmm. Oh my God. I'm literally still sitting here thinking about it right now. You know, though, sometimes it's not Buckwheat Zodico. Yes. Buckwheat Zodico. She did it. Was a very phenomenal, amazing. This this is a blessing after being jet lagged for a little bit. <laughs> um. <laughs> Because we came straight to the festival to play, but Buckwheat Zydeco, before he passed away, I, I played the Cajun Zydeco Festival in New Orleans, and I got to play before him, and um, I jumped off stage, I got a picture, and uh, he, he gave me some sound advice, and I, and I will never forget it, and it has stuck with me since after his death, and it's just been putting one foot in front of the other, no matter what, you know, I'm... No one's opinion of you can, can matter. What you think about yourself is, is more grander. So she rest keeps in peace. spreading Legend. that word, Buckwheat. Yes. yes. Always, always, always. We'll see you here again, huh? We, yes. Okay. All right. Awesome. Thank you so much. This thank is perfect. You. Thank you, guys. Sure, yeah. Appreciate the support. Bye. <laughs> Bye.